Hey everyone! Welcome back to Maddie's Creative Corner. It's so good to have you here. Today, I'm going to show you four easy and beginner-friendly ways to create marble nail art. So, without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. So, for today's look, I'm starting off with full cover clear tips. And I asked you guys once again what colors you would like to see on today's video. And 56% of you on Instagram voted for blue, white, and brown. And so we're starting off with these colors. And for the very first marble design, we're gonna need a dotting tool. And with that, we're going to put dots of all of the colors all over the nail. Make sure that you deposit quite a bit of polish. Also, the dots don't have to be symmetrical, just it's a way of depositing color onto the nail that will make the marble design more symmetrical and come together better. So after you've done that, you're gonna go ahead and start marbling the colors together. Essentially, you're going to touch your dotting tool onto the nail and start dragging it around, creating all sorts of shapes. This can be as messy as you want it to be. And if you see that you're missing a little bit of color in some areas, you can go ahead and drag your dotting tool, add some more color, swirl that around. It's super fun and super easy. So after you're happy with the design you have created, you can go ahead and take a very thin brush and just try and fill in any gaps that you might have left in the edges of the nail. Here I'm showing you a bit of a close-up on how I fill in some areas that I haven't really painted. And after you're done with that, you're just gonna cure it and we're moving on to the next nail. So for the next nail, you're going to need the same colors again and you're going to be applying them in a bigger quantity right in the middle of the nail. As you see, I switched from my dotting tool to the silicone tool on the same uh, tool. <laughs> and I'm just adding the one color on top of the other. And after I've added all of the colors, I am going to take a straw. Yes, you heard that right. I use a bamboo straw. Please use biodegradable metal or glass ones instead of plastic ones. And I'm going to start blowing the colors. <laughs> so this is so much fun. I love the result of this nail. I think this is my favorite one out of all of them. And it's super easy. This is so easy for beginners. It marbles the colors so prettily together. It looks like marble. It's so cute. And it's so much fun and super easy to do. This will create a mess, so keep that in mind. You will need a brush with some alcohol to clean it off, but gel polish doesn't dry, so you can clean it off pretty easily. And I'm going to be repeating the exact same design on the thumb because it has a better surface, a bigger surface rather, and I thought that it would be easier for you guys to see the marble up close. Once again, I'm taking my bamboo straw and I am blowing all over the design. Even if you make a mess like this, just take a brush, put the color back onto the nail and just keep blowing. <laughs> it's just so much fun, I love it. And here you can see me just cleaning up the design a little bit. And because I thought that the colors hadn't blended too well, I will go ahead and marble them with my brush and just blow them again into the area that I want to marble together. And for the next nail, I'm going to be applying more of the same colors and marbling them onto the little area that I have. This is a pouch that I had from some foils that I had bought. So I'm just doing that. And after that, you're going to need a brush and you're going to scoop up some of the marbled color. So you need to do it in a straight line so that it doesn't disturb the designs. And then you're going to place the bit of the color upwards and you're going to start dragging your brush onto the nail, depositing the color as you go. 
and you can see it looks super cute. Now you can either leave it at that or you can go ahead and continue picking up color and depositing onto the nail. I wanted to cover this entire nail into a marble design. So I wanted you guys to know that you have the option to either add this as a design or as a full cover color. If you want to cover the areas that you haven't added polish to, you have to very lightly uh, move the color towards that so you don't disturb the marble effect. So you just continue picking up more color, adding it to the areas that you want, mixing them together, and that's about it. Then, as always, you clean up the excess, and you're done. So for the last nail, we're going to once again deposit the colors onto our little foil, and I'm going to put them all together, and not a big amount since we don't need a lot for this last nail. I'm going to swirl them together once again onto the paper, if you see that you need it, you can add a little bit more color. And then you're going to take your finger, flip it upside down, and lightly touch it onto the polish. Now you want to do this lightly so you don't disturb the swirl that you have created. And then you flip it upside down again, and here is the marble design! How cool was that? So I don't want to cover the entire nail for this design, I want it to be an accent nail. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cure everything and skip to applying a top coat to all of the nails. And of course, it's my favorite time of every video, it's bling time! And I'm going to use these beautiful rhinestones and these caviar beads. And with a detailed brush, I'm going to take a good amount of the Vanalisa nail glue and I'm going to create an outline of the design that we created on the pointer finger. And then I'm going to apply a layer of top coat above it. And without curing, I'm going to start putting on the caviar beads all around the design. This kind of create, reminded me of a painting, like a frame for a painting, and I thought it was really cool. So here it is. Now for the ring finger, I'm going to once again apply some of the Vanalisa glue onto the lower part of the nail. As you can see, it kind of went outside my cuticle and I wanted to cover up that mess. <laughs> so I'm just going to add rhinestones and pretend it never happened. <laughs> In between the rhinestones, I will add some silver caviar beads. And here it is, super cute! Last but not least, we're adding some cuticle oil. And we're done! I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so excited to share these designs with you and I'm so excited to share more similar videos with you in the future. It's so easy to create certain nail art designs, even if you're a beginner. And I want to show you guys how to make more of these, so if you have any suggestions for future videos, leave them in the comments down below, leave me a like, subscribe to my channel for more videos every single Tuesday, and yeah, follow me on Instagram if you want to participate in picking the colors for every week's video, and I will see you guys next week! Bye!